We begin with breaking news on a deadly crash in Greene County. Police now tell us that the driver of a dump truck lost control, sending the truck careening into a home. The house caught fire. That's the aftermath you're seeing right now. The flames spread to several buildings. The driver of the truck, Chisandra McGill of Schenectady, died in the crash. The truck was carrying asphalt used to pave the road where this all happened. Stella Porter went to the scene today in the town of Ashland. She spoke with the family impacted by all of this. The family that lived in these two homes is now picking up these pieces of their life. They tell me on any other day, their family could have been inside these homes as the fire ripped through. Definitely God was looking out for the family at the time. Shauna Post grew up on this road. She married the boy next door, raising a family here, and her brother started his married life here. All three homes in a barn side by side before Wednesday. It's tough to have to, you know, walk through here and see where your bedroom used to be or the backyard where you used to hang out and play hide and go seek. Only her home was spared as firefighters battled flames for hours. Pieces of her childhood left behind. My dad had a huge baseball collection, like way, way back when I was a kid, like years and years of baseball collections. And I'm finding a card here and a card there. And a card. Her teenage son can't get the sound of the crash out of his mind, thinking of the driver who died. It's a long road for everybody. Like it's, you know, just making sure we're there for each other and, and taking care of each other. And the fire was so hot and so intense, it melted the siding on this home across the street. Post says they likely can't rebuild here because of building codes, but she's putting it into perspective. So it's kind of tough to, you know, think about like what you lost, but there's somebody else that lost worse. The family has now started a GoFundMe page to help them get their life back. If you'd like to donate, we have a link for you at WNYT.com. In Ashland, Stella Porter, News Channel 13, coverage you can trust.